me, Sora. <laughs> Xehanort! What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... 
we'll all be like Buzz. If we don't find Andy, wrong. Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart. <sighs> what? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah, I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never, ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah, you can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. Get this wagon train a moving. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a. Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, come left! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> so, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you're hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the heart's joint to yours. Huh? <coughs> Here goes.
Wow, Rapunzel, you're finally gonna get to see your real home. I know. I mean, I can't believe it. I can finally be with my real family. I couldn't have done it without your help. You're welcome. <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, the kingdom couldn't ask for a better princess. And I couldn't have asked for better sidekicks. Thanks. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Now, friend, you and Maximus play nice. Huh? Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be great. Huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. But there's still a chance that he might be around here somewhere. Well, if he comes back and tries to bother Rapunzel again, then Flynn will keep her safe. And we three won't be far behind. True. But nevertheless, I won't let her out of my sight. Oh, Eugene. Eugene? Oh, <laughs> that's my real name. Eugene Fitzherbert. That's right. I never told you guys. That's different. Oh, I think it's a great name. Me too. Nice to re-meet you, Eugene. Hey, I thought I was the only one you were going to tell. Don't worry. I've saved plenty of Fitzherberty secrets just for you. Really? Hey, what are you two lovebirds talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you can tell us. Yeah, it's not nice to keep secrets. This one is none of your business. <laughs> Maximus, get him! Huh? <laughs> uh, you have got to be kidding me! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>